Hello friends, welcome to the channel Tech Tree. My name is Sambit. Today we are going to see how we will do calibration of turbine flow meter of a fiscal metering station by using a bidirectional proper loop. This bidirectional proper loop technique is widely used in oil and gas offset production unit and in line with many of international standards like API or BMS. So without further ado, let's get started. If you're new to this channel, please consider to subscribe the channel, press the like and bell icon button so that you will get notified the new excitement informative tech videos in future. Thank you so much. Let's have a look at how this is done for a turbine meter according to the regulations from the Norwegian Petroleum Department. When oil flows through the pipe, the flow computer counts the pulses from the meter. By dividing the number of pulses by the meter's calibration factor, called the K-factor, we calculate the volume that flows through the meter. We will now have a look at how we find the meter's K-factor. We start by routing the oil into the prover loop. First, we open the prover loop's outlet valve and then the inlet valve. The oil is now able to flow through the prover loop. Then we close the pipe's outlet valve and adjust the flow rate to the value it had before starting the calibration. The valves are checked for leakage and we check that the flow rate, temperature and pressure are within the scope. Given correct valve interlocking, pulses will go from the pulse integration module, called PIM, to the prover loop's counter. They are the same pulses as the turbine meter sends. The full way valve turns and the ball is pushed into the prover loop's calibrated volume. The sensors start and stop the counter when the ball passes by. The measurement must be taken for both directions, so the four-way valve is turned again. The ball must be sent through the prover loop until we have five measurements in sequence, each with less than 0.05% repeatability deviation. This is a government requirement. The variation is larger than 0.05% and we must run the test one more time. The last five calculations of the K factor show no deviation. The average is 1000 pulses per test, running both ways. In our example, the volume between the detector switches is 1 cubic meter running both ways. Simplified, we might say that the K-factor for the turbine meter is 1000 pulses per cubic meter. We must, however, adjust for some additional factors. CTSM Correction Temperature Steel Meter makes the correction required because the steel's dimension in the turbine meter is changed with variations in temperature. CPSM Correction pressure steel meter makes the correction required because the steel's dimensions in the turbine meter are changed with variations in pressure. CTLM 
correction temperature liquid meter makes the correction required because the volume of the liquid flowing through the turbine meter changes with variations in temperature. CPLM Correction pressure liquid meter makes the correction required because the volume of the liquid flowing through the turbine meter changes with variations in pressure. CTSP Correction temperature steel prover makes the correction required because the steel's dimensions in the prover loop are changed with variations in temperature. CPSP Correction pressure steel prover makes the correction required because the steel's dimensions in the prover loop are changed with variations in pressure. CTLP Correction temperature volume of the liquid flowing through the prover loop changes with variations in temperature. CPLP Correction pressure liquid prover makes the correction required because the volume of the liquid flowing through the prover loop changes with variations in pressure. This is the formula to calculate the new K factor. Now that the calibration is done, we set the valves back to their original positions. First, we open the pipe's outlet valve and then we close the prover loop's inlet valve and outlet valve. Normally there are several meters in parallel, each of them must be calibrated with the prover loop.